you see outdoors. This is probably not something I recommend for most people. I'm probably not even entirely sure I should be doing it myself, but here's what we got. I was doing the, the one of our flights yesterday, or today, and, uh, sorry, I've got a cold. Um, in one of the crashes that we had, the negative wire and the blue wire from the third cell came out, and I'm about to, I'm gonna try to solder them back up so I can save this battery. Cut the case off extremely, extremely carefully, very sharp exacto knife, and kind of going this way along it is to not pierce these packs. And it looks like if you've never been inside of one of these, this is what you got. This most people think this is some kind of uh, wiring the the board type stuff, but it's literally just packing tape, very very strong packing tape. Um, the blue wire goes right there, right there, yellow wire. The red wire goes to the red, the big red charging wire. The black wire goes to the charging, the big black charging wire. So we're going to try to cut these open, solder that back up, solder that back up, and see if we can salvage this battery for another day. And then we'll just tape it up real good so that we don't have another accident. I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot. I'm going to see if I can try to... Uh, record while I solder but I'm not sure how well that's gonna work so we'll see what happens alright I got the little orange looking wrapping tape packing tape off there is the black wire and there's where the blue one's gonna go and I'm gonna go ahead and get my soldering iron solder, uh, fired up All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this orange stuff out of the way I should just tape it out of the way honestly I know this is not what everybody uses for a soldering iron, it's just my preferred method. That went well. Alright, let's get the negative wire on. We'll have to make sure we tape that up really well. Sorry, right, my good soldering iron's in my box. Give me my good solder. Alright, I feel like we got it. Yep. Alright, we're going to go ahead and test it and see if it... Uh... We're good, folks! That is how you repair a battery. I'm going to get this all taped back up and I'll make one more little quick video and show you what I did there and I'm, I'm pretty pleased. There again, do not try it unless uh, unless you feel confident doing it. Uh, this is my first one I've actually taken completely apart. We've had them with broken wires and things like that before and we've, we've fixed them but this is the first one I felt comfortable enough cutting apart and I made sure we had a fire extinguisher ready. I had the door right over there so we could just chunk it out there if we had to. There is a lot of precautions you should take when doing something like this. They can catch fire, lipos can be dangerous, but if properly respected, then hopefully you can get a lot of life out of them. So there you go. Hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe. Okay, guys, I went ahead and went a little ex excessive on the tape, but taped up the balance wires a lot better. That way, in case we have another oops, they're not just going to yank out. I tried to throw the original package back on just so I had an idea of what I was uh, charging. Um, what milliamps and voltage we know it's 3s by 4 wires but so there you go it works we salvaged the pack if you like the video give us a thumbs up like and subscribe bbc outdoors